Today we're out on the driving range hitting driver off the deck. I've got Jackie with me and she is the expert on hitting driver off the deck. Today we'll show you how and when you should be pulling driver out on the fairway. Also, if you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel for more stuff like this coming in the future. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol, the Second Swing Golf. Today I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today we're on the driving range at Les Bolstead. We are gonna be hitting drivers off the deck today. Um, it's one of those kind of very popular and kind of, but not often used shots in golf. So Jackie, um, driver off the deck. You, you've hinted to me that you do this somewhat often. And so uh, maybe give some of the viewers an indication of how often you do it and then we'll kind of go into maybe how you also hit the shot. Yeah, so the highest club in my bag uh, besides driver is a five wood. So I don't carry a three wood or anything like that for reasons of I don't use it very often. Yeah. And so I'd rather carry more wedges than uh, a three wood. Uh, and honestly, a three wood versus driver off the deck, pretty much the same result. So. Okay. Uh, yeah, a situation where I would use it would be in the fairway uh, on a par five and, you know, there's not a bunker in front yeah. where I can kind of roll it up there pretty close. Uh, but it all kind of depends on the lie. Obviously, if I have my ball above my feet or, mm -hmm. you know, it's just a not ideal situation, I would just hit my five wood. But, um, yeah, flatter lie and knowing that I can, you know, send one up there is definitely a situation I would use it. Yeah, because I think it's something that I think a lot of golfers just never even consider hitting driver when it's not on a tee. And a lot of golfers are actually looking for scenarios to do this because in some ways they can control it better than a fairy would. So um, in this video, Jackie's going to show us, you know, how to hit driver off the deck, but also, as she explained too, the situations that are best to hit driver off the deck, maybe better than, for some golfers, better than hitting a three wood. So, yeah. um, well, Jackie, you ready to, to show me how it's done? Yeah, let's go. All right, so Jackie, let's say right now you got a pin out there, 250. I don't know, you kind of you kind of hinted that like 215 to 220 maybe, yep. roughly in there is kind of where your target would be. So let's say you're in that spot now and you're able to pull out driver off the deck. When you're setting up for the shot, is there anything that you're doing differently maybe than a normal shot or, or how, how do you approach a shot like this? Yeah, so driver off the deck, we want to come in pretty flush and mm -hmm. we don't want to hit up on it, right? So, okay. you know, when driver's on the tee, we want to put it further on our stance so that we can hit up on it. Whereas off the deck, I like to put it you know, a little bit more than inside of left uh, heel. Okay. So just kind of, kind of where I would put my five wood, honestly, okay. is where I'd put the driver off okay. the deck. Um, you know, obviously with that, the tendency to probably fade it's pretty good. I don't mind that. Yeah. Um, but typically I like to see a little bit of a like 15 yard fade with it. Um, okay. So, yeah. Okay. Well, let's see it. little pull but not bad so this shot is not getting much height on it really nope. i mean it's just it's gonna barely get off the ground it's mostly gonna be rolling up yep. towards the target right yep it's so like you said that's what you mentioned where if there's a hazard or a bunker or whatever in front of the green or in front of your yeah. target probably don't take this option right well another thing if the wind's coming in my face and i know i can't get my five wood anywhere close i would just yeah. hit this versus that sure oh yeah that's really good so I was trying to that do. That looks like an eagle putt to me. <clears throat> yep. That was even better. Wow. So yeah, like you said, you got a little bit of a fade to that. Yeah. Um, but there's really not, with the way you're hitting driver off the deck, because um, you, like you said, you can't really have an upward attack angle because then you're bottoming yeah. out before the ball. So you really have to have the bottom of your swing essentially be right on the golf ball. Whereas well, you can kind of see I'm making a little bit of a divot here uh, mm -hmm. in some of my shots, so. That's pretty typical after the ball, trying to hit down on it a little bit. Well, it's good contact. I just kind of pulled it a little bit. So the other thing to consider here too, is that you won't hit the ball as far as nope. off the tee. That just won't happen. No. Um, but also a lot of that is because in all likelihood, you'll have it more spin on it, right? Because you're not hitting up on driver the way, you know, when you have it on the tee, you're able yeah. to hit up on it and that kind of takes the spin off. Now you're almost hitting down on the ball more. Yep. 
So you know, that'll create more backspin on the ball. Yep. So that and there's a lot of reasons why it won't go as far as off the tee, but for your sake, you know, it's almost like hitting a three wood. Yeah, right. So Jackie, what's interesting here, I've got the five shots up um, on my screen here. Um, you didn't quite catch that last one perfect, I don't think, so that maybe yeah. drop the averages down a little bit, but um, what's interesting is your attack angle is minus 1.6 degrees. And so you mentioned not hitting up on the ball, mm -hmm. um, where I think, you know, you see a lot of people, especially kind of the, you know, scratch players, better players um, are able to hit up on driver and that's how they kind of make it the most efficient, but you got to hit down on it or bottom out right at the ball with driver. And you've done that really well at minus 1.6 for an mm -hmm. attack angle there. So that would be, I would imagine that'd be key for making sure that this is, you know, hit the right way. Yeah, for sure. Um, the one I had to miss it when we were doing all these and I can almost guarantee, I mean, I hit the top of the ball. So that right there is mm -hmm. me hitting, you know, too positive in that situation. So, you know, for me, I, I don't see a downside to really hitting driver off the deck because typically if I miss it, I'm going to thin it and yeah. it's just going to go straight and down the fairway. Yeah. So it's just going to kind of, it's almost going to be a layup in its own yeah. right where well, it's not going to get, it's going to roll a long ways. And if you miss it, you know, I mean, you're not getting a ton of height anyway out right. of the shot. So, right. And you know, because of the loft versus like a three wood where we're at 14, 15 degrees, where this is at 10 and a half, my miss hit with that is going to be very low and not a lot of downside. So that's why I prefer that over yeah, a three wood. I haven't, I, I got to say, I haven't heard that before where a player has a three wood out of the bag and it says, well, if I'm in that distance, I'll just hit my driver. Yeah. But the way you explain it and it makes total sense, you know, that the, the distance is going to be the similar and then if your miss with the driver is going to be uh, not that penalizing compared to the standard shot anyway. Right. So interesting, but I'm kind of curious now I'd like to try because I'm not someone who's driver off the deck very often. I tried it once with my friends one time and I hit a grounder like 40 yards. So um, I'd like to see now with some of the tips that you've given me if I can pull it off. All right, let's go. All right, so Jackie, you told, you said kind of a little bit farther back in your stance, right? Yep. And then essentially you're not hitting up on the ball, which is what I like to do with driver. So yep. I have to kind of manipulate it. So I'm hitting down on it a little bit. All right, this is uh, a little interesting. Nice. Hmm. It's weird. I, I don't think I've taken a divot like that with a driver before. 265. Really? Yeah. Let me try that again. Maybe I'll do the same thing as you. I'll take out my three wood <laughs> and put this in the bag. You kind of see how you have to, it's almost impossible to like draw it though. Yeah. Beauty. Wow. 264 again. This is, look how consistent this is. I, I, all right, driver off the deck. I learned how to hit this. Now I'm 265 out. I'm just going to pull this guy out. <laughs> it's going to be perfect every time, but no, this is, a, this is good. Uh, I think a lot of golfers have thought about doing this, never really knew how to do it. Kind yeah. of myself included. And even just two swings there. I never really, I never, my thing was I never put the ball back in my stance farther. I was always driver. It's gotta be up here, yeah, you know? Right. So, um, that's interesting. And, uh, you know, I think it, something I'll consider now actually is, um, you know, doing this more moving forward. If I'm at that spot in the fairway, par five, for me, about 250, 260 out, I can pull driver out. I think it eliminates going to the left more than anything. Yeah, sure. You know, like, I always Because it is, myself, I mean, you, it is hard to draw, at yeah. least for me, when you're, because you have to hit down on the driver, yep. it's hard to do that and hit a draw. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, that's a good point. It just keeps it lower and less, uh, less issues. I mean, if you miss hit that, it's going to go, what, 200 yards down yeah. the middle? Yeah. So. Uh, so golfers that are watching this and have thought about hitting driver off the deck, maybe they haven't been able to pull the trigger on it today. I know I'm able to now more confidently, you knowing some of the stuff Jackie's told me and a little bit of the science behind attack angle and things like that, um, that maybe you can use on the golf course to benefit your game. So. Uh, Jackie, thanks for joining today, showing me how it's done. And uh, I know I have another shot in my bag that I didn't have before this, so thank you for that. Yeah, I think uh, anyone that's struggling with a three wood, give it a try. Uh, go on, you know, come out to the driving range, uh, try to get that a little bit further back in your stance. And you'll definitely, I mean, bigger face, uh, so the MOI is a little bit higher. Yeah. 
uh, and your miss hits are going to be a little bit less, so why not?